Hey everyone, welcome back to Umotube. Today I'm going to show you Victor's 2020 line of new bags and there's seven different models that they launched out. So why don't we take a look at how the interior of each bag looks like. Follow me. Here I have the 6213 and the 6212 bags over here and let's take a look at what it looks like in the inside. So this one actually comes in four different colors. There is a black, blue, turquoise, and the gray. And you know, I found that it's super basic and super simple, which I actually quite like. Um, sometimes you don't really have to go elaborate to um, you know, have the most features. And if you're looking for something simple, this is it. And the price point is very affordable. You can check it out in the links below. And let me show you how it looks like inside. So there are no special compartments with zippers and I find it's yeah kind of nice very simple and then so let's say if I were to put in a couple rackets in it nests the rackets quite well one thing I did find is it doesn't have a separate shoe compartment so then let's say I have a pair of shoes usually you would want to bring shoes to play so yes I would have to either just put it in like this or if you want, you can actually get a separate uh, shoe bag and then put your shoes in so it doesn't like, and then you put it in the bag so the shoes don't touch your, let's say, clothes or your, your racket. So I think that's a, this is a good way to mitigate that. So compared with the 6212, this bag is, it also has the two compartments but I would say there's a little bit more bells and whistles. Let's say like in the front, you'll see there's an extra compartment with little zippers. So if you're feeling extra like me, um, you want to put, you have, we want to have a space for all of your, let's say like accessories and you have like different places where you can put stuff. Um, I would say this is one step up. So um, yeah. And also the main difference I saw was the a separate shoe compartment in this bag so um, you can actually let's say bring the shoes back up you can fit the shoes in here and it actually also rests really nicely inside the bag which I will show you once I zip it right here so it's a little bit snug so very compact so you have to kind of adjust it let's see to the shape of the bag so this is probably what you'll also experience that it's very compact you they don't want to use so much space on the the shoes so then it's very compact here and it, it actually eats into a little bit of space in the first compartment so um, if you're looking to put a lot of things into the bag um, there are other options but if you want to keep it simple and have a separate shoe compartment I think this is the bet you should go with this one and now I have the 9208 and the 9209 bags over here let's take a quick peek at what this offers so if I open this first compartment uh, the, in the, the beginning I do see two compartments in each so they're the same but let's see what else I do see in here so I do have a strap that I can put It'll clip on as a backpack style. I guess there are two ways of wearing this. There's that, it's like carrying it from the top or having two straps to carry it as a backpack. Pretty neat. The padding, I feel like, ooh, this is like very soft. It's like cushiony. Really nice. And ooh, I really like this piece. Like usually the bracket bags I've seen, it has a shoe compartment, but this is like the like the material is really nice. I feel like it's like something new. It's like plasticky see-through and I can take it out, which is that's, that's something new that I've never seen before. So that's pretty awesome. So, and another thing I enjoy, which I see here is for the Victor bags, they actually have little icons. Like, let me see if I can show you. See, there's like a little icon here. It kind of tells you where things go and for me, one of my struggles is sometimes without these icons, I don't know which side is the racket, which side I put my rackets, which side I put my shirts. So um, if you also have the same struggles, 
comment in the comment section below because I always mess it up. It's like, oh, I want my birds and I get my rackets. So yes. Oh, well, magic. <laughs> and then over here, I do see another cool difference between the two sides um, is uh, you will see on this one side, the icon says, where's the icon? Icon is over here and it's for the rackets. So you will see in the interior, it's a well, really cool thermal finish. You'll, uh, it's like, you know, when you bring ice cream cake around town, you want to like keep it in a super um, insulated area. So there, it keeps the rackets from extreme cold or extreme heat. So then this, the string tension is more consistent. So you'll see super cool quality here. This is also good quality, but it doesn't have that cool thermal look over here, which I enjoy very much. So let's take a look at this bag over here. Uh huh. Okay, well, the first thing that pops up to me is this cool hiking uh, strap, little buckle. So if you know the rackets get super heavy and you're putting a lot of things in there and you're carrying it as a backpack, you have more support um, through this hiking type of buckle. So that's really cool. I would give it a bonus point. And over here, I do see the, the thermal kind of interior, which I like. They should keep doing this. And also the detachable shoe bag, which I also like. And yes, so these are the two bags. Check them out. Um, there's different colors. The, you can check it out in the links below. You can see the different colors and really exciting. And over here, I have the 9609 bag and the 9608 bag. They look pretty similar, but let's take a look at how it looks like. So this is the 9609 bag. There's a black and a red option as well. So you can check it out in the link below. And let's take a look, let's open it up. And again, I do like that they also have the thermal um, interior in, on one side. So same as the previous bags and you'll see mainly the difference between th these ones from the last ones are the shape of it so it's more of a rectangular shape so if you want to carry it like a, an LV bag this is how you do it <laughs> and there's also another option and that is there's one strap over here so you buckle it up and then you can then carry it over your shoulder which is awesome so there's two ways of wearing this and also I do see a bonus Ooh, a shoe bag that comes with it. So that's pretty cool because in this one, there's no separate um, shoe compartment. So it comes with this bag over here, which is awesome. Um, but let's see. Ooh, I also see this cool thing that the other two um, sets of bags didn't have. And there's a little Velcro situation going on here. I'm like, what is going on? What is going on? So... Let me just stick it together and show you how it can look like. Ah, uh, there we go. So, on this side of the bag, you can see that there's a Velcro strip over here and you can separate the top from the bottom. So you can put maybe clothes, I don't know, what would I put here? I would put my, my birdies because um, on this side it's a little bit, ooh, wow, it's super snug. Whoever designed this bag is awesome because look at this and look at this and oh, can't really see like this is the top. Oh my. Anyway. Yeah. So you'll see it's like perfect and snug. I would probably put some. Oh yeah. It also says there's an icon. Of course. What did I tell you before? And there's the top part would be for your shirts. I mean, like you can put whatever you want, but that's what it's designed for. Uh, so yeah, I really like this. And there's also, oh, let's see what's in here. Oh, same thing. So it has the metal kind of vent over here with a little zipper. Can you see it? I don't know. I'm, okay. Yeah, I think you can. Yes. So again, you can put whatever you want in there. Same as the other bags. So, okay, let's take a look at the 0608 bag over here. Like, to be honest, it looks pretty similar. It's just the, the style. I mean, like, my bias is always black. If you have followed me before, you know I love black. 
bags, black shoes, and it's just my color, so I don't know. I have a bias for this one. <laughs> but um, yeah, you'll see the design is a little bit different from this one. But if we're looking at how it's structured inside, it's pretty similar. I don't know, but it, to me, it feels like the same bag, but just a different color. But I don't know. It's um, a separate product. So you'll see, same thing, there's two sides, the thermal vent and the regular vent. You also get this one, yeah, free shoe bag. And you... So here we have the backpack, the 8018 bag, and it's a little backpack over here. And if you're curious and you like pink, this is another color. And it's like the hot pink kind of pink, not even like the low level pink, there's like hot pink, like the Power Rangers pink. Okay, okay. Emph emphasize that point uh, far enough, but like, as you know, I have a bias and I like the blue one better, but as all YouTubers do have preferences and yes. So why don't we take a look at what's, how this is like inside. So when I first opened this, I'm like, okay, what's this like, you know, front compartment all about? Like, okay, it's probably like a, like a flat bag or like compartment, but I was surprised because I'm like, I realized this is actually for the shoes. So it's not just like a little like sad little compartment. It's actually, it can actually fit the shoes. So I'm going to show you how this is done. Like, boom, it goes right in and boom, it goes right in. And I zip it up, and there's, it still doesn't compromise. It doesn't compromise the shape of the racket of the bag. Look at this; it's still like very flat looking. It looks precious and like sleek and modern, trendy. And you'll see over here, there's this little like whole thing to like ventilate all the, the smelly grossness after you play badminton. So I think this is a super cool design. I mean, the material if you're like feeling it like this. It's actually very premium, so I actually want one myself. I'm gonna ask the producer over there to give me a, a, a good one. Yeah, a good discount. Um, but yes, so then I put my shoes in. You'll see that inside, oh, I can't get this angle to you guys. Can you see? I don't think you. Yeah, it feels like it magically the shoes just disappeared. Like, it's, it doesn't take up the whole backpack, so um, I don't know how, what kind of magic they use, but, you know, they put the shoes in and the shoes are, like, in the middle of the bag for some, for some reason, and there's still space at the back. So now I'm going to demonstrate, because some of you are probably like, oh, how much can you actually fit in one bag? So i got two rackets that I'm going to put right in here, and you'll see that... There's a little sleeve over here, so it, the rackets can just rest there. And I'm gonna put, I don't know what else, maybe you put like a bird of, I like two birdies. What else can I put here? Here, like a little random bag. I'm gonna put, what else do I have? Uh, I don't know what these are. Like random things. And you know what? It's still, the shape is still here. It's not like those sad bags that kind of like flop when you have nothing inside. So regardless if there's anything inside, if there's something inside, it looks full. If there's nothing inside, it's still full. So, yeah. And then here you have it. This is the bag. And it's not heavy. I mean like, this is a win for me. I actually really want one of these. Can I get one please? <laughs> Well, you can check it out at yumo.ca. The description links are below if you want to see the specs. And um, that is all for today. These are the seven racket bags. And remember to subscribe to us, to our channel. Follow me on IG, Eitozumo. And I, until next time, I guess. See ya!